Okay guys, we're going to do the additional practice 13-1 together before you go to the Pearson site and you do the practice buddy additional practice and submit that for a grade. Um, remember, this is in your additional practice book, okay? It's page 155. That's where we start, 155. So I'm going to do this one with you and that will serve as a... Um, a model for what you're going to do um, on the Pearson site. Okay, so it says up here, remember they always, the additional practice always gives you examples to remind you of the concept that you're covering in the lesson. So it says another look, you can use fraction strips to find equivalent fractions. So they're showing you a whole, and then they have one fourth, and they're showing you that two eighths is equivalent to or equal to one-fourth, okay? So it says one-fourth and two-eighths are equivalent fractions because they name the same amount. You can write one-fourth equals two-eighths. Let me try to zoom a little bit. That's better. All right. Well, it's kind of blurry, but I think you can get the idea. You can see that two one-eighth strips show the same part of the whole as one one-fourth strip, okay? You also can use area models. So this is a, what's called an area model, and these are fraction strips, just a vocabulary review. You can also use area models to show that one-fourth and two-eighths are equivalent. The two fractions name the same part of the whole. All right, so let's see uh, what they ask us to do in one through eight. Find the equivalent fractions, use fraction strips, or draw area models to help. So these are area models. These are fraction strips, okay? We'll probably be able to use this information and the information up here for each of these problems. Let's see. Okay, here it says one half equals, well, they're showing us a half here. What are they showing us that it equals? Well, I see I have eighths. There's one one-eighth, two one-eighths, three one-eighths, four one-eighths. So one half equals four eighths. Four eighths. That eight looks a little weird. All right. Next one says one whole, and the, and it's got one third and another one third. That's two thirds. One one six, two one six, three one six, four one six. Two thirds one, two thirds equals one two three four six. This one, they're showing that the whole thing is shaded. The whole is shaded. So six, six, this one they have divided into six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six is the same as, what's this divided into? What fraction? Well, you have two parts, so that's called halves. So two twos or two halves. This one, they're showing one, two, three, four, three out of four, three fourths. And this time, do you see how this part is equal to this part? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with one, two, three, four, five, six out of the eight are shaded. Okay. Now I have thirds and sixths. Did I have thirds and six anywhere on these questions up here? I did, so I can use this information. See that? One third is equal to how many six? That one third is equal to two one six, two six. This one is showing a whole, four fourths. Well, what do we know about a whole? When we write it as a fraction, it has to have the same 
numerator and denominator. So this numerator must be how many thirds? Three thirds. Three thirds is the same as a whole. This is a whole, four fourths, and this is a whole, three thirds. Okay, this one is halves and fourths. Did we have halves and fourths somewhere? Hmm. Let's see. I don't see it on this page. So, why don't I do this? I have a half. A half is equal to two-fourths. A half is equal to two-fourths. I could have done this as well. I could have made an area model. It's not perfect. A half is equal to two-fourths. Now, this one is six and halves. Six and halves. Did we have something divided into six? We did up here, but it was with thirds. So I'm going to have to do my, I can do this half. And I bet you while I'm looking for these pieces, you can figure it out. How many thirds do you think are going to equal a half? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, disregard that. <laughs> Three six is equal to. I just gave you the answer. I'm recording this at nighttime, so please forgive me. You guys are used to me making mistakes, right? You'll live with it. All right. So three six is equal to. One half. Oops. Three six is equal to one half. All right. I could have done it. One half. One, two, three, six. Okay, let's look at the next page. We're not going to do all of these, but I think there might be some questions like this on the practice buddy, so I want to make sure I go over how to do these. Well, the explain what equivalent fractions are in given example. Well, what are equivalent fractions? The fractions that name the same part of a whole. I'm just going to do the given example. I'll say one half equals two fourths. Okay. When you use fraction strips, how can you tell if two fractions are not equivalent? How do I know those two fractions are not equivalent? They don't name the same part, right? I need to have two fourths to make a half. So I can tell that these are not equivalent because they are not, they don't take up the same part of the whole. You don't have to write that down. I just want to make sure you understood that. Taylor colored one-fourth of his rectangle. Draw an area model showing a fraction equivalent to one-fourth. Use the picture to help. Well, all we have to do with this is if we just do this, put a line going through, what's this one-fourth is equal to one, two, out of eight. Let's look at this number sense. Joyce is thinking of a three 
digit number. Her number has the digits 8, 4, and 6. To the nearest hundred, it rounds to 600. What is the number? Well, we have these digits. We have to figure out which one would be in the hundreds, tens, ones. If I had a number, if I had 8 in the hundreds, could that possibly round to 600? No. We'd either have to round to 800 or 900. If I had a 4 in the hundreds place, could that round to 600? No. If it rounded down, it would round to 400. And if it rounded up, it would round to 500. So the only one I can have here, I have to use a 6 here. All right. If I put the 4 in the tens place, could that round, make this round up to, I mean, round down to 600? Yeah, it could. What if I put the 8 here? If I put the 8, if I had an 8 here, this would have to round up to 700. So it must be that the 4 goes here. And the 8 goes here. 648, 648 is between the 600 and the 700. This is just a little review of rounding. 650 would be here. 648 would be there, so it would round to 600. Dinner plates are arranged on five shelves with eight plates on each shelf. Five shelves, eight plates on each shelf. How many dinner plates are on all of the shelves? Draw a bar diagram and write an equation to solve. Okay, what is the equation that we're going to have? We have five shelves eight dinner plates on each shelf. Five times eight. Five times eight. So, if I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I have eight, 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 eight. eight. 5 times 8 is 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. There are 40 dinner plates. Uh-oh, it says higher order thinking. And my brain isn't working quite well right now. Let's see if I can do it. Fred says that 1 half and 7 eighths are equivalent fractions. Draw area models for 1 half and 7 eighths to show if Fred's statement is correct. Name two fractions that you know are equivalent to 1 half. All right, so Fred here, he's trying to say that one half and seven eighths are equivalent. Well, there's one half. If I made it into eighths, I would do this, this, and this. That would give me one, two, three, four eighths. One half is equivalent to four eighths. Draw area models for one half and seven eighths. So this is one half. Seven eighths would be one, two, three, four. I can do here over here. Just to show. Just to have the eights by themselves so it's easier for you to see. Four, five, six, seven. This one is seven eighths. One half. 
So is he correct? No. Seven eighths is almost a whole. Name two fractions that you know are equivalent to one half. Well, let's choose this model. If I have this model, I can see that one half equals four eighths, or I could say one half equals, if we looked at this as force, one, two, three, four, one half equals two fourths. I did it. All right, last question. Which fraction pairs are not equivalent? Select all that apply. Be careful with those questions because there can be more than one, two answers. So they're giving us this to help. Are not equivalent, okay? One third and one six. Are they equivalent? No. One third and three six. Are they equivalent? No. Two six. 2, 6, and 1 third. Are they equivalent? They're equivalent, so don't check it. 4, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2 thirds. Are they equivalent? Yep, don't check those. 2 thirds and 3, 6. That's not equivalent. Okay, now that we did this together, you can use um, the answers or just how we answered them to help you with the practice buddy. And remember, when you do that practice buddy, up in the corner, they have that help tab. So if you need help, remember, you can look at the tools that they give you, and they'll sometimes give you another example. Make sure, please, 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 that you are using paper and working out your problems, because when you submit that grade, that is the grade that I'm going to count. Okay, do your best.